legendary warriors. The powers that created us now want us all extinguished. We must join forces, or else forever be their slaves. So today you stand with us, or you stand against me. Picture a Marvel hero standing on your desk. Maybe it's Marvel Legends Spider-Man, his hand frozen mid-swing. Or a G.I. Joe soldier, weapon in hand, ready for action. You have probably done this before without noticing, maybe when you were a kid. These figures are more than toys. They are machines of imagination sculpted from ideas and molded into icons. Behind them stands one of the biggest toy makers in the world, Hasbro. Welcome to Industria, where we uncover the fascinating processes behind the manufacturing of items inside the factories. So grab your snacks and let's go! How are top-tier figures like Marvel Legends Galactus or Transformers Studio Series Optimus Prime made? Hasbro started its journey in 1923 in Rhode Island, USA. It began with pencils and school supplies. But after World War II, the company changed its dynamics and turned to toys. In 1964, G.I. Joe became the world's first action figure. It wasn't like any other Barbie doll, but it was a soldier with realistic ear and movable limbs. That single creation changed the toy industry forever, and the term action figure was born. By the 1980s, Hasbro expanded into universes beyond imagination, and Transformers, My Little Pony, and Power Rangers became household names. The arrival of Transformers in 1984, robots that could transform into vehicles, redefined toy engineering. Then came the era of licensed icons with Star Wars, the Black Series in 2002, Marvel Legends in 2013, allowing fans to enjoy Power Rangers Lightning Collection in 2019, as well as Ghostbusters Plasma Series and Fortnite Victory Royale Series in 2021 and Indiana Jones Adventure Series in 2023. Today, Hasbro manufactures over 100 million action figures every year, fueling the dreams of collectors and kids around the world. The company's powerhouse lines, Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Transformers and Power Rangers, generate billions in annual revenue and dominate toy shelves from the US to Japan. In fact, Hasbro's total yearly toy sales surpass $5 billion, with Marvel Legends alone bringing in hundreds of millions, thanks to the unstoppable popularity of heroes like Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Wolverine. Every new wave of figures sells out in hours online, proving that plastic heroes never go out of style. Collectors often rank Marvel Legends Galactus and G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes among the most sought-after modern Hasbro figures. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite. Why does this matter? Because we are about to follow how a modern figure goes from idea to collector's shelf. Just like any other idea, every Hasbro figure begins with an inspiration. In Hasbro's design offices, artists sketch characters from comics, films, and games. For Marvel heroes, designers study costumes and actor scans. They capture the look of Spider-Man, Iron Man, Wolverine, Cobra, Bumblebee, and many, many more. Which was your favorite Power Ranger, by the way? Mine was the green one. Using digital art tools, they sculpt their digital models. They adjust their facial joints and accessories. Each small change matters, from the curve of a cape to the shine of armor and the tilt of a helmet. The entire stage, from idea to the final sketch, can take up to several months to finalize. What happens next? The design moves into the real world. The 3D printers produce solid resin models of the characters. These models are fragile but precise. Designers test movement. Does the elbow bend right? Can the head turn smoothly? Does the weapon fit naturally in the hand? Larger figures like Marvel Legends Galactus feature massive size and extra parts, with prototypes revealing early challenges in design and articulation. Once the figure's movement feels natural, these prototypes then go to licensing partners like Marvel or Lucasfilm for final approval. Only then does production move to the factory. Now, let's get back to the factory floor. Inside Hasbro's partner factories in Asia, including China and Vietnam, the noise never stops. Rows of machines melt and mold plastic 24 hours a day. Pellets of ABS and PVC plastic are poured into massive hoppers. 
the plastic is heated to typical injection molding temperatures, molten, then injected into large, heavy steel molds. Each mold makes a specific part, head, torso, leg, or hand. After cooling, the machines eject the pieces and the conveyor belts carry them along. The air smells faintly of heated resin. The floor vibrates slightly from the machine's rhythm. It's hot, loud, and fast. A single mold cycle can create hundreds of identical parts in minutes. Every tiny detail from Spider-Man's web pattern to Hulk or Black Panther's armor is carved into the mold. A toy like Marvel Legends Venom may go through multiple mold cycles every minute across runs during mass production. And this is where the magic happens. Painting rooms are clean, quiet, and carefully lit. Workers wear gloves and masks to keep dust off the figures. Hasbro uses pad printing to transfer small patterns like eyes or emblems with perfect precision, while larger areas are colored with airbrushes for smooth gradients and highlights. For special editions like Transformers, Legacy Optimus Prime, or Iron Man Titanium series, parts are hand-painted for realism. You can smell the faint mix of paint in the air. It's the scent of creation. In high volume operations, a worker may paint hundreds of parts a day. People conduct final checks. Correct accessory, no damage, perfect card trigger that leads to batch rework. Once the parts are painted and dry, they move to the next step. But before we unfold more on how Hasbro action figures are made, just a quick reminder, if you're liking this video so far, you'll love what else we built here on Industria. Check out the channel for more awesome factory stories. Before we bring the action figure together as one piece, let's explore the vast universe of Hasbro action figures. From superhero icons like the Marvel Legends series in 2002, followed by Spider-Man classics in 2003, Avengers, Titan Hero series in 2012, X-Men Legends in 2004, and Iron Man, armed Avenger figures in 2010, to battle-ready legends from G.I. Joe, Real American Hero in 1964. Then there's the sci-fi frontier, home to Transformers Generations, Studio Series, War for Cybertron Trilogy, and Star Wars, The Black Series, blending intricate engineering with cinematic storytelling. For those who love the classics, Micronauts, M-A-S-K, ROM, The Space Knight, and Stretch Armstrong still echo the golden age of toys. Each of these lines carries a legacy of design, fandom, and storytelling that continues to echo the golden age of imaginative play. Now, every part joins to form a hero. On the assembly line, each worker handles a single task. One snaps arms into sockets. Another fits helmets. A third attaches weapons or accessories. It's almost hypnotic to watch, almost choreographed, smooth, rhythmic, and fast. In high volume runs, a single figure can be completely assembled in minutes from scattered pieces to a finished soldier or hero. Every joint is tested. If one breaks or squeaks, the team rechecks the batch. Robotic arms seal torso halves using ultrasonic welding. That creates tight joints and removes sharp edges for safety. Before any figure reaches the factory, fans on Hasbro Pulse get a first look at prototypes, sharing feedback that can influence final designs, articulation, and color tones. This loop of fan input helps Hasbro refine each figure for collectors. Prior to every release, each figure faces a rigorous series of tests. From drop tests, to perform color fade tests and joint stress tests, each plays its own role in the figure's reliability. For instance, intense drop tests ensure pieces don't detach and cause hazards. Similarly, the color fade tests protect against UV damage and the joint stress tests ensure durability. If one sample fails, the batch is held and engineers inspect and review the batch. That's how they make sure it can handle years of play. Collectors from Hasbro Pulse Premium share early impressions of articulation, faces, and packaging. It's a loop of testing and improving. It keeps the figures evolving with the people who love them. Now that the figures are assembled, it's time to roll these action figures into boxes. No hero emerges without its box. Packaging gives it a story and shelf presence. Hasbro uses comic art and bold color for Marvel Legends boxes. For Star Wars, the Black Series, it comes in matte black with character portraits. And the famous Transformers boxes show both robot and vehicle modes side by side. Machines fold and glue boxes while workers place figures into clear trays. 
Designers often say packaging is the final handshake between the toy and its buyer. Hasbro has reduced plastic waste since 2022. Boxes now use recyclable cardboard and plant-based inks. Even the twist ties are paper instead of plastic. Sustainability is now part of the premium figure experience. Once sealed, these action figures are ready to be shipped. From the packaging zone, quick lifts load master cartons onto pallets. Containers are loaded into shipping vessels headed toward ports in the US, Japan, Brazil and beyond. Thousands of figures travel across oceans to reach homes in over 100 countries. Some figures go to stores like Walmart, Target or Amazon. Others go straight to collectors through Hasbro Pulse, where exclusive drops often sell out in hours. Meanwhile, collectors flock to Hasbro Pulse where limited runs and exclusives like the HasLab X-Men Sentinel or G.I. Joe Classified Serpenter sell out in hours. Collectors in Japan, Brazil, Germany and the US go online for pre-orders of Marvel Legends Galactus and G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. By the time a figure reaches a shelf, it has traveled farther than many people will in a lifetime. Collectors don't just buy these toys, they live with them. For serious fans, the names matter. Marvel Legends Galactus, G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes and Transformer Studio Series Optimus Prime. According to price guide sources, the Marvel Legends HasLab X-Men Sentinel sold in sealed condition for around $750,900 US. Collectors favor premium articulation, screen accurate faces and exclusive accessories. Galactus and Snake Eyes consistently appear at the top of collector value lists. If you own one of these figures, it's not just a toy, it is part of a global collector story. What comes next? Hasbro is scanning actors' faces in 3D for ultra-realistic sculpts. They have launched the Hasbro Selfie series. Hasbro has announced personalization initiatives where fans can put their own face onto a figure. They are also exploring bioplastic materials to reduce petroleum use without sacrificing detail. The next wave of Hasbro figures may be made from renewable materials, personalized by you. We never know. So next time you hold a figure, ask, is this the hero of today or tomorrow? When you hold a Hasbro action figure in your hand, maybe it's the Pink Ranger, Storm or even your first Captain America, you are not just holding plastic and paint. You are holding decades of imagination, design and storytelling. Each joint, each color stroke and each sculpted detail carries a piece of someone's childhood, maybe even yours. From a simple sketch on a designer's desk to the moment a kid tears open that box, Hasbro has turned creativity into something timeless. These figures remind us that play never really ends, it just changes form. And somewhere in a small corner of every collector's heart, the magic of Hasbro still lives, ready to be rediscovered one figure at a time. And there you go, how Hasbro action figures are made. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Industria and if you are interested in finding out how Bondi action figures are actually made, then you must check out the video on the channel. And let us know in the comments what stuff we should dive into next.